Santa Clara men's basketball playing its fifth straight game away from the Levy Center. Their opponent, a team that knows the Mission Campus gym well, 2013 Cable Car Classic participant Ryder, the final game for both teams at the 2014 Orlando Classic. Jared Brownridge opened up the game with a pair of threes for Santa Clara. The second one made it 6-0 Broncos. And after a rider timeout, Brandon Clark in transition, looking left, passing right. It's Matt Hubbard with the finish to make it 8-2 Santa Clara. Buck 25 to play in the first half. Clark goes for the right side again. And with Ryder crashing in, Kai Healy is left open. He converts from downtown. That gave the Broncos their first lead in nearly 11 minutes of a first half span. Tie ball game inside of 30 seconds to play. Broncos going for the last shot. It's Clark crossing over and scoring, which is seconds remaining to give Santa Clara the 24-22 halftime edge. Brandon Clark, nine points, four rebounds, four assists for a versatile first half. He led the Broncos in all three categories. On to the second 20 minutes, Jared Brownridge out of the gate strong again. The jump stop right around Matt Lopez for the early two. Clark keeping himself in the mix from the perimeter once more. Given some room, takes advantage. He shot 8 for 14 for the game, 2 for 4 from 3, and tallied 23 points overall. Another nice drive that time from Clark. Good body control in the paint for Santa Clara. This was a tightly contested game after the break. Here's Brownridge using a screen from Healy to split two defenders. Scores from just outside the paint to give Santa Clara a five-point lead. Jared Brownridge nearly unstoppable in the second half. Seven for eight, 21 points. Here's one of his four three-pointers, that one coming from the wing. And he also did well to set up his teammates, driving and leaving this pass off for Matt Hubbard. Slapped that backboard for the strong finish to make it 51-48 Broncos with seven minutes to play. Here's a big and one from Santa Clara late on in this game. Brandon Clark jab step right, crosses over and takes the contact for the scoop and score. He would go on to complete the three-point play. After the final media timeout, three and a half left. Broncos up three. Jared Brownridge's three extends the lead to six. And then the sophomore from Aurora, Illinois, makes the play of the game. Jumps in the passing lane, fouled by Jimmy Taylor. Brownridge up and under, a la Dr. J for the and one. Beautiful finish. Take another look. Brownridge just gets his arms away from Taylor's reach. And a little spin underneath the backboard for a spectacular finish. He caps off the irving S play with the free throw to make it 64-57. And the Broncos stayed cool from the line, hitting four straight to complete the 68-60 victory. Here's head coach Kerry Keating and Jared Brownridge after the win. Well, I thought the first thing we were able to do by kind of shifting our starting lineup a little bit was get Brandon off the ball, take some pressure off in the beginning of the game, and I thought Denzel did a good job of entering offense for us in the beginning, especially in transition. We were able to get some good looks for Brandon and Jared. Jared did a really good job of recognizing to not stay on one side of the floor and got himself some great looks. And obviously putting Kai in the starting lineup for a little bit of some, uh, you know, little life in the front court. And uh, he's physically capable to, to handle that. And admirable job from being redshirted a week ago and now playing 26 minutes. And uh, he hit a big shot. I think he hit at least one, hit one three today and took good shots and, and was, was active and gave us some versatility that hopefully we can keep building on. I think today we did a good job with our backcourt is looking for each other. We penetrated and looked out for open threes, and I think we did that better today than we have any other day. So I was really proud of my guys. I felt a lot more relaxed today than I did all the other days, and I think my teammates and my coaches helped me with that more than anything. Brandon, Steven, all of them, they, they found me on the, on the three-point line, so that really helped me. We'll take a couple days to get ourselves readjusted to the time change, but back mostly in, in our academic mindset. And we need practice time. I think it's important that we uh, realize the opportunity that we had in this month. And although not 7-0 and or 6-1 and or 5-2, and even 4-3, and still finishing on a winning note here in this, in this uh, event I think is important for their psyche and also for what we can build on. You know, it's, it's uh, one thing to say we can build on opportunities that we miss, like in Tennessee, Rhode Island, of course, Michigan State and Utah State. But it's easier to build when you have their attention, especially for a young team coming off a win. So I'm happy for them and looking forward to spending the rest of the day with their families and my family before we head home, crack it on tomorrow. How about the, that initial drop on the rock and roller coaster? I thought I was going to die. <laughs> but, uh, luckily, I'm still alive. Well, you just want them to visually see what the other team is able to do. So uh, obviously, you have player tendencies and you have team tendencies. 